In this day and age with the internet, I know that you have a lot of classes that you can choose from. Taking classes online, looking at Pinterest, watching YouTube videos, it's always an option. But to learn firsthand from me would be super fun. And I, I hope that you will join me in a class that I'm teaching called Simply Charming, where we cover all of the different techniques, well, not all of them, but a lot of them, of the different techniques that we offer at Nun Design. And in the bracelet that we'll be working on, it gives you a base, and then from there, you can branch off and go to town on your own thing. Let me show you some examples of the different things that you'll be learning and things that you can do once you have that knowledge. One of the beauties about taking a class from, from myself and the team of Nun Design is that these are all components that we uh, make and offer. And so everything that you see here, including all of the technique aspects of it, are included in your class kit. So you don't have to come to the class with any additional items. It's all there. So some of the things that we'll be covering is UV resin and transfer sheets. So this little project right here um, is an example of that. And once you have an idea of how to use UV resin, you could move into doing other fun projects such as this piece right here is the same technique. You can also learn how to use transfer sheets and make really cool little shadow box pieces like this and many, many others. Other things that we'll be learning is how to make uh, and use bead caps with epoxy clay. There is the technique of how to use extra little pieces of epoxy clay to create little accents throughout your piece and bring color throughout. We learn how to make bead caps. We learn how to embed all the crystals within the piece. We learn how to texture epoxy clay. This piece here is learning how to use prong settings and then undesigned glass domes. And then we also get into how to make little beads how to use collage sheets with UV resin, and how to rubber stamp onto the different metal surfaces. So once you learn these basic techniques, uh, you'll start to branch off and create other projects. So if you're looking at this bracelet and saying, mm, crystals aren't my thing, and this isn't my aesthetics, don't worry, because it's just the basics for learning how to do things. So for example, um, prong setting. Here is how I've incorporated the technique of prong settings into a very simple assembled bracelet. In this project here where we cover um, collage sheets and UV resin, uh, later on I'm using it in a collage sheet with UV resin and then I'm using the crystal clay around the outside to embed crystals. Um, if you're not into crystals you might want to try using stones or maybe even seed beads or maybe you even want to wrap pearls around the epoxy clay. And these are all things that you would learn how to do through the basics that we learn in this class. Here I've used epoxy clay in the base, embedded embellishments, let that dry, and then came back over with UV resin. So UV, 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 many different ways in which you can use it. Over here I have some examples of other things that you could create using the glass domes uh, and making fun pieces with that. And that's a very simple technique that we cover right here. Um, you can also learn how to you learn how to texturize the crystal clay. Uh, this piece here is glass, and I just wrapped it around the base and the edges of the glass. I texturized this and painted it. And here are some other examples of both texturizing it and embedding the crystal clay, which is in a two-part epoxy clay. With seed beads. So there's lots of different um, ways in which you can use the products once you have the basics down in the Simply Charm bracelet. Okay, if you don't have a chance to take one of our classes, I hope that you'll join us online at www.nundesign.com where we do have all those free things I mentioned earlier um, and uh, a great gallery full of inspiration and a great blog that you can follow along on. But I really would like it if you take the class for me, so please come and I'll see you. And if you can't take the class because you've already scheduled a class for that day, um, we'll be at the vendor night and you can see us there.